This is Danny Bayard on location with Matthews Brewing Company. I'm here with owner Dave Matthews. We've already spoke about uh, we're CDC compliant, six feet apart. Okay to get rid of the mask? Yeah, let's take the mask off. Fabulous. I have to tell you, I was absolutely shocked. I got out an industrial complex here, and then suddenly I walk in. The aroma is absolutely fabulous. I find this stunning all right, display of uh, beers and of equipment and a beautiful seating area. What was the vision behind this? What were you thinking? So a little bit about Matthews Brewing Company. Um, I bought this building uh, approximately five years ago. It used to be the Lake Worth Herald, which was a printing uh, press that they decided they wanted to downsize. So at the time, um, I had an engineering company. I'm an engineer, professional engineer. I had the company for about 20 years. And I decided um, I had been home brewing for about 25 years. Okay, so that was my hobby was brewing beer. So I decided, hey, I wanted to jump in and uh, have a second career and have a brewery. So I started um, looking around. And what happens with, uh, with breweries, we're actually a manufacturing facility. Even though you see this nice bar area out here, we're considered a manufacturing facility, so we get zoned into industrial areas, okay? So I took a look around, found this place in Lake Worth Beach, and they had a nice outside area that you'll see in a little while where I could have a beer garden. So that's where the location came from. And just the idea was from just my love of craft beer. Well, you know what's incredible is that we're sitting here in this fabulous dining room and uh, bar facility. You got a beautiful place outside. And I'm thinking, these are great props, but they're actually manufacturing beer. How much? Give me volume. Give me yeah, what so, you produce. So basically, we can, we can produce about 660 gallons a day. Okay. Wow. So right now, we're brewing Black Metallic, which is our um, stout that we have here. Um, it's our Irish stout uh, that we put on nitro, so we're brewing it today. The brewing process, we'll be brewing, we started at 7.30 this morning. We won't be done until about 6 o'clock tonight. And then we'll move it over into the conditioning tanks where it'll condition for two or three weeks. Then we'll move it over to one of our bright tanks and carbonate it up. That'll take about a week. So the whole process to, to brew in L is about four weeks. If uh -huh. you want to brew a lager, it takes a lot longer and you're looking about three months. And how many different flavors do you brew here? We've got 18 different flavors that we, we brew. We have a lot more than that, but those are kind of like the standards that we have. And then we'll rotate other beers in. So if you looked at our entire portfolio, we, have, we probably have about 40 recipes. Now, do you guys actually bottle and distribute or simply for consumption within the facility? So what we do, we do distribute. We, we distribute through Florida Gold Coast in Palm Beach County and Broward and JJ Taylor on the Treasure Coast. Right now, we're just distributing ke kegs to the bars and to the restaurants, okay. but we are going to start distributing cans, you know, at the first quarter of next year. Okay. Now, out of the brewery, we do sell cans and bottles and everything to go. Okay. So, you, talk to me about the beer. I noticed that you put a couple of uh, samples here. Yeah. So, um, our number one beer in distribution is our Celerate. This is our American IPA. Um, so, that beer does really well for us. Uh, kind of the new craze now are the hazy IPAs that kind of started in Vermont, and we brew a few of those. We've got Florida Haze, and then we have our Florida Hop Juice. Um, those are two good stellar beers for us. Now, for, for the layman, give me what IPA means. So uh, IPA means Indiana Pale Ale. So that means it's a little stronger than a regular Pale Ale, than a regular beer. So what's the percentage comparison? The percentage with the IPA, that's at about 6.9% alcohol. And uh, just a Pell L is typically around 5, 5.5%. Okay, so, about 25, 30 Yeah, so it's so actually a little bit more hoppier, too, when you go to and an a IPA. More kick. So, however, you know, they've done a lot of studies, and 60% of the people, when they sit down at a bar stool like this at a craft beer place, they are ordering an IPA. So you're going to see every craft beer place have, you know, they're going to have a stellar IPA. And where did the uh, idea for the, is this a dining room? Do you serve food here? Yeah, so this is a tap room. Uh -huh. Okay, so, so basically um, what I did, of course, is, um, you know, when I came up with the concept, I visited, you know, various breweries, various restaurants, and kind of come up with the concept that I wanted to have here. And then also I'm, a, you know, a professional engineer, so I know a little bit about design and construction. So, so we, we built the facility as as big as we could in the back because that's where we have all our equipment back there and then we have this uh, this you know amazing tap room here that fits 117 people what i wanted to do because i was in an industrial area when people came in here i wanted to have the wow factor which i think um, we have here i so. got the wow factor just coming in here and again i can't stress and you got to do this the aroma of this place is delightful and just the ambiance is so warm and inviting 
I, I really dig it. So what I'd like to do is take our Club Raymond members on a little tour. So if sure. you don't mind, can you show us around? Yeah, let's do it. First, we're, I'm going to show you our beer garden that we have out here. This is a 5,000 square foot beer garden where we have our bands play and we have our food trucks. And we actually have uh, weddings and parties and birthday parties and so forth out here. So a lot of people, of course, like to be outside right now because of COVID. So we've got a nice area where people can come. They can bring their families. And we're also very dog friendly here. So we have a lot of people that bring their dogs and they like to hang out and enjoy themselves and have some craft beer and some uh, local food from the food trucks that we rotate here. The next thing I want to show you guys is our um, tap room. So we have a, an air conditioned tap room here, which has a lot of murals on here. A lot of people like to come in, look at the different beers that we have, um, sample the different beers. And again, it's kind of a relaxing atmosphere that we have here um, in our tap room. And then we also have uh, live music that we have in here um, once in a while. And then we're also playing some type of music to um, entertain our customers. Next, I'm going to show you our, our brewing facility, which is our manufacturing facility where we're brewing our beers. Um, we run the facility back here five days a week, um, so we're always brewing beer here. We're either brewing, cleaning, or kegging. So actually, um, cleaning is 90% of the process. Brewing is about 10% of the process. So we're a full manufacturing facility here on brewing. We've got a three kettle brewing system, which is a 15 barrel system. We brew about 660 gallons a day. And we also have got a pilot facility where we brew our Cascale and our experimentals, um, which are about two barrels a day which equates to about 62 gallons. Wow, what a facility. Dave, congratulations. Every, I, I don't know which one I like best, the, uh, the tap room, the outdoor, the brewery, it's all fabulous. Thank you, I appreciate it. And from engineer to brewer, and I understand Club Raymond member, you got a BMW? Yep, so I've had a BMW for over 20 years. Um, when I had my engineering company, we leased the BMWs through um, Raymond with Matthews um, Consulting Incorporated. Once I sold that company and I started my brewery, I still have a BMW that I'm still leasing through uh, Brayman. So I love cool. those cars, they drive great, and it, uh, I love the utility vehicles. I've had We the appreciate the business, Club Brayman member. And also, you can see Dave's article in the Club Brayman magazine a couple of issues ago. Enjoyed yep. the read, it's all right? Great. And you'll learn all about Matthews Brewing Company. Remember, they're located at, and I'm gonna just give you, if you could see this address right here, all right, so you don't forget it, Make sure you come to this place, not only for the aromas, not only for the ambiance, but for great beers, which I understand we're going to try right now. Yeah, so I, got, got I have you a little uh, cream ale there called Sweet Emotion, and I'm drinking a little uh, Junkyard Dog, which is a brown ale right here. Cheers. Congratulations. Cheers. Thank you. Oh, my gosh. So craft beer has a lot of flavor. Uh -huh. We consider a craft beer like a food here. That is good. What is the ingredients? Because there's some really cool ingredients yes. and flavor. Yes, so in a, in a cream ale, you know, we've got um, barley malt that we're using. We're also using a little Pilsner malt, and we put a little bit of biscuit in there, ah. um, believe it or not. So, and it has a little bit of corn. And what about the dark? So the dark beer here, this is going to be all English pale malts that we're using, along with dark malts to give it the darker color. So we've got a lot of specialty malts in here. We've got a chocolate malt. We've got some crystal malts. And, um, and then some other um, black malts in here. So the, the basics behind the beer is basically you're also s always starting out with the pell ingredients that you see over there on the cream ale. Okay. And then when you make, wanna make it darker, you're adding the specialty mar malts, which make it, gives the beer a little darker color. Very cool, very cool. To my friend Larry Podwell from iHeartRadio, I get the beer, you get the food, I'm having a blast. Congratulations and make sure you come to Matthews Brewing Company. Cheers. Cheers. It's a good beer.